Hey everybody, how's it going? We are in LJ shop. Hey LJ. What's up? What's up? We got B here. And in this episode of Corvette Posse DIY Garage, we are looking at fixing a splitter. So I think for you guys that have splitters um, and have hit a curb and you've uh, damaged it, this will be a uh, this'll be a good video for you to see. So we're going to show you how to repair that. So this one here, I didn't do this by the way, just so everybody's aware. I bought this one used, bought this one damaged, um, super, I got, I got it super cheap. So we're going to take and we're going to show you how to repair this. It's not really broken up too bad, just kind of, just kind of narfed up here on the bottom a little bit. Uh, the things you need to do this, a fiberglass repair kit, and I don't know, LJ, what else do we need? You're the brains of this, or you're the brains of this operation. Sandpaper. Sandpaper. Bondo. Maybe scratch filler. Primer. Paint. Clear coat. All right, so we're gonna walk through and we'll show you how we uh, how we fix up a splitter and uh, save you a ton of money. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through. We're just gonna sand this off so you can see it's just it's just kind of narfed up. It's not too bad. Almost they melted almost. Um, we're just gonna sand and clean up that edge a little bit. Okay, so after the 80 grit, after the 80 grit to clean to clean off the rough spots, went back in with 180 and just kind of sanded it down, smoothed everything out. Then we're gonna start doing the uh, fiberglass piece, right? That's right. All right, so here's your fiberglass mesh, right? Right. Scared. I'll let's scare it off the side. <laughs> it's almost like this is an episode of uh, this old house. Hmm. We can do that next week. <laughs> What is that we got there? It's the hardener the for hardener. fiberglass right. resin. Will not get hard without it. You got those little brushes? Yes. Right, so you can see we uh, put in the uh, the fiberglass, the mesh, put in the hardener, hardener stuff there. So we're gonna just sit here and just let that sit and set up for a little bit, then we'll uh, we'll trim it back. Okay, so after we waited for this stuff to set up, and it took about half hour or so for that to set up, we're now trimming this off, and then uh, we'll go ahead and start sanding it down.
Okay, so now we've got this, we got it all trimmed up, we'll sand up a little bit, but you can still see that there's a little bit of flex on there. So we're gonna go ahead and stiffen that up and put, put a couple more layers on there. We'll show you that. Um, that should be able to be the finishing touches to get this wrapped up. So what we did is we put in just a little piece of uh, material here to provide a little bit of support on that. And then we're going to throw some more mesh and some more, uh, some more resin on there. Peeled off the, uh, we put the extra resin on there and uh, extra mesh on there. So now we're just going to check this out and see how we're doing. We're going to trim it off and uh, sand it down. Okay, so we got that cleaned up and that really firmed it up. So I think the plan is right now is we're going to go ahead and do another, uh, another coat of ros resin, right? Yeah, one more coat of resin. And then we'll let that set up and then uh, tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do some more sanding and do some Bondo and it'll be ready to get ready for paint. Right. Get ready for paint. All right. 
Okay, so once the fiberglass all set up, went in and, and did some uh, did some bondo work, and now we're just gonna go in and do some uh, get filled in some uh, filled in some of the cracks that right here, some of the imperfections. And now we're just gonna sand this thing down, and we're ready for prime. Ready to prime here shortly. All right. sand it I'll sand the entire thing with like the 600. Oh, then you're ready. And then it's ready. Okay, so that first round of sanding was with 80 grit. Now we're going with the 320. It was 180. Oh, I'm sorry, 180. Sorry, 180 grit. Now we're going with, with the 320. Smooth it down a little bit to uh, slap some primer on it. All right, so we got this all masked off and we're ready to uh, to spray on the uh, primer. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that. I probably won't won't film that. <laughs> I'm gonna step back. All right, here we go. Here's the finished product. So we got this all primed up. So now we just gotta let this sit dry, then uh, sand over it, wet sand the whole thing, and then get it ready for paint. So as you look at this, I mean, this is something that's not super complicated. I mean, we showed you all the steps. Um, really, quite honestly, I mean, if you can do drywall, you can do this. I mean, really, it's it's kind of like that between the bondo and between the uh, the fiberglass repair kit's pretty easy work. So what we have what we have really is I bought I bought this splitter. So you can find these damaged splitters out there. I bought the splitter, I got a super deal on it. I got this for like 350 bucks um, for this splitter. It's a GM splitter. Um, I probably got maybe fifty dollars in materials and we're to this point right now. So you know quite honestly we could have done the repair, done the bondo, sanded it down and taken it to a body shop and have them have them painted off and you've got uh, you've got your your uh, splitter repaired so it's really it's it's something that's fairly easy to do uh, doesn't take a whole lot of work obviously finding a body shop to paint it is gonna be a little bit of work but uh, other than that it's pretty simple not a bad project so we'll take this and I'll probably do a different video of actually putting it on putting it on the car and then and, uh, and putting the under tray on and all that type of stuff so uh, that's a wrap for today so hopefully you like this video. If you give us a big thumbs up, that'd be great. If you don't subscribe, hit the subscribe button. We've got more stuff coming. And I think what we're going to do is, since we're kind of kind of in the summer lulls, uh, looking to sell some more merchandise, how much do you think, what do you think we should do? Think we get uh, 10 thumbs up and some comments, do a sale on the website? Sure, why not? All right, so if we get 10, 10 thumbs up and some comments on the website, We'll do a 20% off on the website for uh, for the merchandise. So we got the uh, CPR shirts, the uh, one one curve at a time shirt, and the uh, curvy road sign shirt. So check out the website uh, www.corvetteposse.com. Links in the description. Yeah, pick up some merch. Check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll check you next time. 20%.